Hello guys, this is Anish Vujja with another tutorial and this is on how to import or import an animation uh, to After Effects with an alpha channel so you can basically, you don't have to do all that keying and stuff um, for an animation, it's perfectly keyed out so it added this and the animations thing is keyframed and everything and how to do that is very simple so let's go into cinema forward. It's gonna be a quick tutorial because I don't want to go into too much detail uh, because it's just a tutorial on this. So I'm gonna get a cube. Uh, let's animate it. Uh, so actually, just to be a little fun. Let's get my template. <laughs> I did the basic animation. Um, if I hit play, it is lagging. Okay, uh, so he runs, and let's do the lighting, the flow. Let's make a texture because it's gonna be reflecting off the ground. I think it's called refraction or something like that. Physical sky. Uh, group them then add a composition and then off scene by camera um, and set some global illumination and ambient occlusion transparency just in case uh, low oh my god low and weak then yeah that's about it and then Oh, I put it at 1,300 all frames, 24 frames per second, and PNG, important. Um, then save it wherever you like. I'm going to save it here. New folder, Steve run, create Steve, and this box, important, Ding. alpha channel. And yeah, that's about it. Um, the reason why we don't want it to be seen by camera uh, is because whoa, it's not working. Uh huh. Now let's see. Okay, now it's working. Um, actually, let me just rotate the head a little. <laughs> Okay, um, so the reason why is because if you off it like that, the grid and basically nothingness is the alpha channel, and it will render it, like, just like in my previous tutorial, I explained it, that the alpha channel is nothingness. If there's something blocking the way, it will keep that in the PNG. So the PNG holds the alpha channel with it, so when you import it to um, Adobe After Effects, it, um, yeah, uh, whatever, twist. I'm crazy. Okay, so it's rendering it 24 frames a second. It's going pretty fast because it's just one object there. So, see you soon. Okay, I am back and let's get our animation. It's really simple. Just click on it, drag it in. And it's already offered out. Let's interpret footage and just change this to 24 because I want to. And we got him running. Uh, let's just, I'll just show you that it is fine. Uh, you just need to do, like put them in the correct order. So this is just a random picture. So if it's not in correct order, it doesn't work. Let's move him down to that. Mm -hmm. And we've got a Steve running across. Like so. If I can now quickly 
Oh, the RAM preview is working. So, uh, okay, so thanks for watching. Um, hope this helped you out. And bye.